Let's just bring you up to date with the situation on this uh, horrific M5 crash, uh, which happened earlier on, late last night. 27 vehicles involved. We're just hearing now from Taunton Dean MP Jeremy Brown, the local MP there. I'll read the statement that uh, he's just released. He says, everyone is shocked by watching the scenes unfold after that horrific crash near to Taunton. My thoughts are with the people injured and killed and their families. I pay tribute to the bravery and professionalism of the fantastic Somerset Emergency Services who have dealt with this horrendous accident. The firefighters, police and paramedics and all the staff at Musgrove Park Hospital who have helped victims and their families. There has not been a crash on this scale for many years and the implications of it will be life-changing for many people. The whole Taunton Dean community will feel traumatised by this appalling devastation in our area. Those are the words there of Jeremy Brown, local MP there in Taunton. We know now that several people have been confirmed dead in that crash. 27 vehicles involved, a number of articulated lorries, some petrol tankers uh, there involved caused huge explosions, debris all over the motorway and several parts of the motorway uh, northbound are still closed. The uh, area is thought to be uh, um, an, an area to avoid, let's say, for the whole of the weekend now. Very popular, of course, and a, a crucial route down to the, south, uh, the west country. So highways agency saying avoid the area. The Avon and Somerset police are saying several people are confirmed to have died in that crash. Some people we hear up to 30 people injured and some of those injuries are thought to be life changing. changing. And uh, that would certainly coincide with what Jeremy Brown, the local MP has been saying there, uh, saying everyone is shocked by watching the scenes and horrific crash. We'll bring you more on that as we have it this morning.